بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از مبا مہرین آئی ویلکم یو آل آن بہاف آف افاق آن لائن لرننگ پلیٹ فارم فار نیو سن سیریز گریڈ ون یونٹ ٹو میتھمیٹکس دا ٹارگیٹ آڈینس آف دس ویڈیو از اسٹوڈنٹس ٹیچرس اینڈ پیرنٹس ایز ویل بفور موونگ ٹوورڈز دا لیسن آئی وانٹ ٹو ٹیل یو دیٹ واٹ میکس افاق یونیک دس از دا پلاننگ پلاننگ از دا کی آف سکسیس ود آؤٹ پلاننگ وی کین ناٹ کمپلیٹ اوور کریکولم ان ریکوائرڈ ٹائم So for this, Afaq has developed the academic calendar and this academic calendar is divided into three periodic terms. Each periodic term consists of two periodic units and each periodic unit consists of six weeks in which five weeks is allocated to learning and teaching and one week is for assessment. In first term unit two, we are going to discuss about whole numbers and additions. Let's start with unit two. In term 1 unit 2 week 1 we are going to cover these SLOs and this concepts. Week 1 is divided into 7 lessons plan. We are going to start with remaining part of unit 1 and we will cover these SLOs. It's an activity time, let's see the activity. In this SLO we are going to count backward up to 99. To cover this the methodology has been given in DLP 1 which falls in term 1 unit 2 week 1 of day 1. Here is the worksheet provided. for the student the question is write the missing number so students you have to write the backward counting in this rectangle so do this worksheet by your own on page number 32 here is a question count backward and write the missing numbers i will do part number a for you what is backward counting it's a reverse counting like 3 2 1 let's solve question number 1 Here are some missing rectangles in which we have to fill the numbers in backward counting. So what comes before 34? It's 33. Yes. Then 32, 31, 30. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. 25. I hope you understood the concept of the backward counting. Let's move towards the other activity. In this SLO, we are going to identify which number up to 99 comes before and after a given number. To cover this, the methodology has been given in DLP 2, which falls in term 1, unit 2, week 1 of day 2. On page number 31, here is a question, write what comes before the given number. Let's see the number 74. So we have to write here the number which comes before to the 74 what it is it is 73 so you have to write 73 here then we have next number 67 what comes before 67 it's 66 you have to write 66 here the third one is 84 so what comes before 84 it's 83 yes So solve the rest of the questions by your own. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to identify which numbers up to 99 comes between two given numbers. To cover this, the methodology has been given in DLP 3, which falls in term 1, unit 2, week 1 of day 2. Let's see the exercise. On page number 31, we have to write the missing numbers in between these numbers. So I will solve first for you. The number is 39 dash 41. What we will have after 39? It's 40. Yes, we have to fill it with 40. So do the rest of the questions by your own. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to compare one digit and two digits number. To cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP 4. which falls in term 1 unit 2 week 1 of day 3 okay now we are going to compare and order two digits number let's compare the number 20 and 10 so we have this 20 0 is on the ones place and this 2 is on the tens place how this blocks are containing 10 number and this one is also containing 10 numbers so one column second column it becomes 
20 it means 2 tens and this one column means 1 10 so 20 is greater than 10 and 10 is smaller than 20 and here is an important note for you 99 is the greatest two digit number I hope you understood this tens and ones concept on page number 35 and 36 here is a question write smaller or greater in the blanks you have to tell that this number is greater or this number is greater or this number is smaller than this number so you have to fill these blanks with smaller or greater so let's see part number one 34 dash then 36 so tell me that 34 is smaller than 36 or greater than 36 I think 34 is smaller than 36 yes so you have to fill the remaining blanks with the word greater or smaller so do this question under the presence of your parents or teacher it's an activity time let's see what the activity is about in this SLO we are going to compare one digit and two digit number order the set of numbers from 0 to 99 in ascending and descending order to cover this the methodology has been provided in DLP 5 which falls in term 1 unit 2 week 1 of day 4 let's see the exercise okay on page number 34 let's compare the number 34 and 32 here is a pictorial display of tens place and one place ones place so there are three tens and four ones it becomes 34 and in this picture the 32 is displayed as three tens and two ones it becomes 32 so what we get the information from this it's like here are four ones are greater than two ones and 34 is greater than 32 so in other words we can also say that 32 is smaller than 34 I hope you understood this comparison concept on page number 36 here are some questions compare and color the star with the smallest number you have to take color pencil and you have to identify the smallest number from this star so is 81 is smallest 18 26 or 62 I think 18 number is smallest so fill the color in this star and do the rest of the question by your own it's an activity time let's move towards the other concept in this SLO we are going to order the set of numbers from 0 to 99 in ascending and descending order to cover this the methodology has been provided in DLP 6 which falls in term 1 unit 2 week 1 of day 4 okay here is an elaborated question let's arrange number 37 26 44 as we discussed in the previous lecture how it is placed in the tens and ones so 37 contains 3 tens and 7 ones this 26 contains 2 tens and 6 ones and this 44 contains 4 tens and 4 ones what we can get information from this it is saying that 2 tens are smaller than 3 tens and 4 tens so 26 is the smallest number between these two so 44 is the greatest number arranging the number from the smallest to greatest increasing order we get 26 37 and 44 so student from here we comes to know that what is increasing order when numbers are moving from smaller to greatest it's known as increasing order and what is descending order when the numbers is going from greatest to smallest it is decreasing order I hope you understood this concept of increasing and decreasing order on page number 37 here is a question about write the numbers in descending order so student what is descending order we have to move from greatest value to smallest value let's see part number a here are three numbers given 45 33 67 so you have to write this number in descending order so we will write greater number here 67 then we will write this number here 45 then we will write smallest number in between this number which is 33 so we solve this question in ascending order 
So do the rest of the questions by your own. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to count in tens and recognize 100 as a three digit number. To cover this, the methodology has been given in DLP 7, which falls in term one unit two week one of day five. On page number 38, we are going to discuss the 100 place value. What is one's place value? It contains only one digit. When it consists of two digits, it is tens place value. And when it consists of three digits, it is 100 place value. So let's see with this example. Here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine boxes. When we add one in it, it becomes 10. So 10 ones make one 10. In a same way, when we come to this example, here are nine tens and nine ones, which make 99. And when we add one more digit in it, then it will become 100 place value. So 100 is the first three digit number. I hope you understood this concept of 100 place digit. It's a beginning of week two. Let's see what we have in week two. In unit two, week two, we are going to discuss these SLOs and these concepts. Week two is divided into seven lessons plans for the ease of the teacher. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to count in tens and recognize 100 as a three digit number. To cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP one, which falls in term one, unit two, week two of day one. Let's see the activity. Okay, on page number 39, here is a counting in tens. This pictorial display is very easy for you when we are going to read about tens. So, these blocks contain 10 blocks and this one column is known as 110. So, it will become 10. When we have these two columns, it will become 20. When we have three columns, it will become 30. It also means that it contains three tens. You can also count one, two, three. So it means it's 30. So you can see the 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 pictorial display of tens. On page number 41, we have a question count in tens and write these missing numbers. So here is 10, then we have to fill this circle and we have 70, then we have to fill this circle. What we are going to do? We have to write the numbers in tens. So in the previous slide, we have read about the tens. So after 10, it will come 20. And after 20, there is 30, then 40, 50, 60, and so on. So do the rest of the question by your own. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to identify and write missing numbers in a sequence from 1 to 100. To cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP2, which falls in term 1, unit 2, week 2 of day 2. On page number 41, here is a question, write the missing numbers from 1 to 100. We have to fill these boxes with the counting. So this penguin wants to come to his house. And what we will do? we will write the numbers in the boxes. So it will help the penguin to reach the igloo. So write the missing numbers by your own under the presence of your parents or teacher. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to count and write numbers of objects in a given set. To cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP3, which falls in term one, unit two, week two of day two. On page number 40, Count the objects and write the numbers. Here are very yummy cakes for you. Okay, now we have to count these cakes. Let's count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So you have to write 21 here and solve the remaining question by your own. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to count and write numbers of objects in a given set. To cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP4, which falls in term one, unit two, week two of day three. 
So here is a worksheet. You have to count and write the numbers of object in a each group. Solve this question by your own on the basis of the methodology we discussed in the previous lecture. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to identify the position of objects using ordinal numbers such as first, second, third. To cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP5 which falls in term 1, unit 2, week 2 of day 4. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to identify the position of objects using ordinal numbers such as first, second, third. To cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP6 which falls in term 1, unit 2, week 2 of day 4. Here is a worksheet. You have to write the position of the each of the following cupcake. So, we have to identify the position of this. It is placing here. So, what is position? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So, you have to write six here. So, solve the rest of the worksheet by your own under the presence of your parents or teacher. It's an activity time. Let's move towards the other concept. In this SLO, we are going to identify the position of objects using ordinal numbers such as 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 10th and to cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP 7 which falls in term 1, unit 2, week 2 of day 5. In the page number 42, we are going to discuss about ordinal numbers. What are ordinal numbers? Ordinal numbers tell the position of the object. For example, this line is at 1st place. This zebra is at 4th place. This elephant is at 10th place. So, here we can see the position of this animal. When you have to write this 6, 7, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, it is known as ordinal number. So, see the exercise related to the ordinal number. Match the bees with their correct ordinal numbers. What you have to do? You have to match the B with the correct ordinal number like the number is given here and you have to match like this. It's the position of first so we match first with the first B. Now you have to match this second B with this column and third B with third number which is placing here. So solve this question by your own. I hope you understood all the lessons we discussed in the previous lecture. We will meet in the next video inshallah. Until then, Allah Hafiz, take care.